job. Every week our On the Job segment looks at things that affect you at work. And tonight, how to deal with stress on the job. Your inbox is full, the boss is barking, your co-workers won't stop talking about that fantasy baseball team. If you're stressed out at work these days, you are not alone. In a survey by CareerBuilder.com, an incredible 77% of workers say they feel burned out. Lynn Isaacir is our workplace issues expert. So who better to help us deal with all this stress? Lynn, always great to have you with us. Thanks. We're going to take a look at, at this a little bit more from the survey from CareerBuilder.com. We've got the top five gripes in the survey about what is stressing people out the most. Number one there... As we can see, difficult coworkers, never easy to deal with. Give us some tips on living with these people. Well, number one, I think it's important to realize what we can control, which is our own reactions to them. And number two, to improve our conflict skills and our communication skills, we really can talk to people about issues if we do it in the right way. And what is the right way? Well, the right way is to be very specific about making requests. What people tend to do instead is be very general or just whine, especially to other people <laughs> rather than the person who can actually do something about the problem. Okay, so be specific, probably be a grown-up about it. Yeah. Uh, I imagine, too, that sometimes we should look at ourselves just in case. Well, yeah, I think if we can manage our own stress level, I think probably one of the biggest stresses in the job is to just be in the wrong job, a job that's not a good fit for us. That can make it stressful for anyone. Absolutely. So even if we can't change right now, if we have a long-term plan for change, that's great. Gives you something to think about. The next three on that list from Career Builder uh, of the top gripes for what's causing stress at work, we're pretty much all workload related, tight deadlines, last minute projects, unrealistic workload. How do you approach that with your boss or your manager, letting them know that you're overworked without sounding like a slacker? Well, exactly. I think that's the fear everybody has. And again, improve our communication skills, be very specific when we make requests. I think it's important to understand where our boss is coming from. So I always like to start requests with, I understand, I appreciate what your problems are, here's my specific request, and then add more appreciation at the end. That way they can really hear it rather than just a generalized complaint that, is that they also, can't really deal with. <laughs> which they hear too much of probably. Is that also the best right. way to deal with an interfering boss, which is also on that list of stressors? Well, Absolutely, and I think it's also important to manage our own workload, to, to deal with the stress of so many phone calls, so much email, and really let people know when we are available and when we're not so that we can focus. I think we all have ADD these days at work, and we really need to manage that. So, so managing, organizing, and prioritizing. We have about uh, 20 seconds left, but those are some of your tips for de-stressing. Give us another real quick. Well, I think it's really important to spend some time each day focusing on what is most important to us and what's most important to our boss and do that first. Some great advice as always, Lynn Isaacir. Always great to have you with us. Thanks again.